One. My name is Marquise McGill. I'm 21, and I'm from Clearwater, Florida. My name is Ryan Copeland. I am 28, and I'm from Tampa, Florida. And my name is Isaiah Johnson. I'm 28, and I'm from St. Petersburg, Florida. All right, great. Gentlemen, the reason uh, I wanted to talk to you uh, behind every success and every growth, there's a story. So I want you to share with the audience your story as and how you got to where you are now and where you would like to be five, ten years from now. We'll start here. Well, I grew up like anybody else normally. Uh, I grew up in Clearwater on Terrace Road with my great grandma being my my rock, my great auntie, my best friend. I was the youngest of the family for a long time, so I was like not really welcomed with my older cousins, bullied, the usual. Um, but I always leaned on my great grandma and my great auntie to help me. I was a real church boy, so I didn't really connect with the other kids that I was growing up with. But um, uh, around seventh grade, I, uh, I lost my auntie. So I went through a bit of a, a life-changing experience where I had to lean on myself and figure out what I want to do and like how I want to do it. Luckily, at the time, I had already been with Mama J. I started at what used to be Life Force, but is now Arts for Life when I was 10. And uh, doing African dancing, modern dancing, dancing as a whole has helped me grow into the man that I am today. Um, through that, I use like the techniques that I use in dance to learn the steps in my education. <clears throat> I'm currently a student at St. Leo University in Dade City, my sophomore year. And um, what I learned about the African culture, about the African people, the rhythms, the drums, I, I keep it in my spirit so that wherever I am, I know, one, where I'm from, like what I stand for, who I'm representing, all the people that slaved literally to have me be where I am today so that I keep myself humble, I keep myself open for new experiences and just ready to do whatever I need to do. I personally want to be able to shed that love for African, for just culture as a whole with everyone. So I'm going to school for education so that I can be a teacher and through the things that I'm teaching I can express that Africa isn't just a barren wasteland. It's, it's a kingdom in itself and it, it's full of riches, full of people, full of culture, full of knowledge that not even I know and that throughout my life before I leave this earth I want to know and even if I spend the rest of my life searching for that knowledge I'll to me that's a happy life. <clears throat> okay I really appreciate that. Now I want everybody to remind me at the end let's get back to the culture piece because they've they've tried so many ways to take it out of the school know with the arts they've been trying to kill the arts for years so um, when we at the end what I wanted each of you to talk about is the necessity for it to stay in the schools and to be enhanced because it's it, it's a vital part of young people's development okay all right so we're gonna move on thank you very much okay you're on bro I'm on. All right. As stated earlier, my name is Brian Copeland. Um, story about myself. I was brought up in a single parent home. And so by nature, you know they say it's hard for a woman to raise a boy into a man. Um, but I can honestly say um, through the grace of God and my mother placing me around strong men, here I am today. And so with that, music has been a part of my life starting at the age of two. Um, now I'm 28, will be 29 in February. And so with that, what happened, I moved to St. Petersburg from Tampa my eighth grade year. That was about 13 years ago. And with that, I met these fine young gentlemen. This is one of the, the guys that was there when I first came around, and he's been there since. And so from there, we gained the true brotherhood and connection 
that no matter how long we went, that might have been a time where we didn't speak. It wasn't intentional, it was just life. And we had gotten older, we could always come back and reconnect as if nothing happened, if nothing changed. And with that and being around these fellas, it taught a lot about the African culture, aside from what I knew personally in music. I knew about drums, the traditional style of drumming, before getting around them, and then I learned about the African style of drumming. And it kind of, it was a quick transition and a smooth transition for me because, again, I already had some knowledge prior to getting here, so that was definitely a plus. And with that, I just carried that on from drumming into the desire to actually create music. And creating music is now my, what we call a nine to five. <laughs> that is my job, not only creating music, but also playing music as a musician. I have not had a nine to five at all in my life. This has been my job. And just last year in 2015, I walked with my master's degree in business administration. And so with that, I am now running my production business which ironically with this young man's brother, <laughs> older brother, a guy named Nico Warren who I've been doing music with since I first got around again 13 years ago and things have just grown and so that connection and brotherhood I can honestly say helped groom me into the man that I am today and uh, so I know for sure that the culture and the need for the culture to be in schools, um, to basically be broadcast much wider than what it is right now is definitely a necessity. Not even just for the African American man and woman. It's a necessity for all races so they will really understand because you won't have any knowledge or wisdom about anything until you truly gain knowledge or wisdom about it. Because if you don't, what's going to happen is you're just going to immediately judge it. And when you judge it, you're going to think things are wrong. When in actuality, if you really understand that it's a part of the culture, you would be able to say, okay, I kind of understand where they're going from. So never knock another person's culture. Never. Especially when you don't understand what's going on. Why they do what they do. Why they don't do what they, what they don't do. So... That's one thing I definitely say will be um, a benefit for the elevation of younger men and younger women, just in general. So, for me, that's it. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Wow. Yeah, now, okay. All right, brother. Let's hear your story. Unabridged. <laughs> uh, I got into Dunu Dole at seven or eight. At first, I was playing football, and my two older brothers, Sabrock and Nico, uh, Sabrock was in it first, and then it was Nico, and then I had stopped playing football, and then I got into it. But one thing about me is that. Uh, you know, out of my brothers, I was the one that always went outside. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, you know, played football with the older kids and, uh, you know, played basketball with the older kids and just being on the block with all the older kids. Uh, you know, for me, seeing my mother go to work, working two jobs every day, and it's still being hard for her. But then for me to see, you know, my cousin get way more money than that, uh, you know, it just let me know where I need to be. And it was, it was misguided. You know, I can honestly admit that. But at the end of the day, uh, the only thing I ever wanted to do was help my mother out. Now, out of... Out of my brothers, I was the hard head one. I did what I wanted to do. Not not trying to hurt somebody, but it's just, you know, me wanting to make it happen. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, once I got into drumming, for however long I was 
drumming for that day for three hours, four hours. I was around family, but then when I leave from there, I'm back in the hood. Uh, you know, I started selling dope. At first, I started selling weed in school. My mama ain't know, but now she know. Uh, then from that, I started selling dope. Uh, got good at it. Nope, I started robbing. Um, you know, from all the way from St. Pete to Tampa to Clearwater, started robbing. I was 17, 16, 17. You know, caught my first uh, robbery charge. They tried to hit me with five robbery charges. Uh, they made one arm stick. You see what I'm saying? So, I end up going to jail. I get bonded out. Uh, somebody close to me end up showing me how to sell dope. You see what I'm saying? I ain't know nothing about that. You know, but they cared about my life enough to know that I wouldn't, I wasn't going to live long enough. Uh, you know, I wasn't going to live to be able to, you know, become a man if I keep robbing. So they know what caught my attention is money. So they felt like if they showed me how to get this money that I'm robbing for, with how to, these people that's getting money like that, then I would stop robbing and I'd get it, you, you know, uh, from the ground up with, you know, selling dope. That's how I ended up getting into selling dope. On top of that, I still was coming, you know, drumming and, you see what I'm saying? I kept it separated, but it was just, at the end of the day, it was more than just, just drumming. It, it, it was... Yeah, my mama helped teach me how to be a man. She did her best. But at the end of the day, it's my brothers and my god brothers who, who taught me how to be a man. You see what I'm saying? So in any in any situation I might have got in with going to court or or you know being in jail, getting in fights, anything, at the end of the day, a person gonna have to respect me as a man because if you don't respect me, you don't respect my brothers and you don't respect my upbringing on Doom and Dole from me. You feel what I'm saying? So I make a person respect me. Cause they got to respect the culture that I grew up in, everything about it. Uh, I end up going to jail again. Uh, I did 12 months. Uh, everybody, you know, people in the group was coming to see me, visit me. Uh, I ended up, uh, I ended up getting married. I had my own kids. Once again, just like, you know, <laughs> Ryan, uh, you know, the majority of black men, you know, we grew up in a house, a single, you know, single parent household with a woman. I didn't want to be what my father was to me and my brothers. You know, I want to be there for my kids. I want to, you know, I want to provide for them. I just wanted to make it happen for them. That made the animal come out. You see what I'm saying? Uh, not knowing, not I'm working so much, making making so many things happen that you know to understand what my father, uh, what what my father did. He was working so much he wasn't able to spend time with us, but he was providing. I ain't know that I was too young to understand, but now it's like I'm doing that. You see what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, the only thing I can do is. Stand up as a man, you know, take responsibility for everything, and uh, you know, just try to better my situation and my situation for my brothers and my kids. Um, you know, not. I'm 28. On on sell drugs, on raw. I work two jobs. I'm a manager at one. Um, drumming, you know. Back to drumming, just you know, just making it happen. But you know what you'll say the right way. Uh, you know, I want to live to see my kids grow. I want to live to see my nieces and nephews grow, my brothers grow, my sisters grow. Um, what would you say to a young man who uh, may have at a certain point come to that same crossroads you had to deal with? as a young man, what would you say to that person, that young brother, or sister even? At 
the end of the day, uh, for the time being, you know, really it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it because the hassle that you have to go through once you once you grow up. Cause once when you get money, you got all these people on your on your coattail, that don't make you a man. It don't make you a man that you got all these women, you got all this money. I done had that. You feel what I'm saying? But what's the greatest feeling on earth? What's the greatest feeling on earth? is to be able to walk into a room that your kids seeing and your kids run up to you and scream, Daddy, and tell you, oh, Daddy, let's go out to eat again, because last time we, and they just reminisce, they, they, they telling you stuff that you done did, and to you, it might, it, it might don't seem big. You see what I'm saying? But to them, it's the world. You don't want to miss out on, on, on key elements like that in people in your life. Because when you go to jail, you just not doing time. You physically doing the time because you went up. You got to understand your mama doing that time with you. If you got kids, your kids doing that time with you. If you got a lady, that lady doing that time with you. Everybody that's involved with you in jail with you. It ain't worth it. You feel what I'm saying? If you don't got that money saved up, you ain't doing nothing but draining from people. You me? So it, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't worth it. You better off just, you know, sitting back, getting education, and really, you know, trying to elevate yourself the right way. You know, finish school. Um, if you play ball, play ball. You know what I'm saying? Chase them dreams, make it happen. That's beautiful, bro. Now, for, um, what is it, Dunde Dule? Did I say that right? Dunde okay. Dunde Dule. Dule, okay. Um, just if you could give out a shout out, each of you. Oh, for that group. Man. Shout out to Doon Dole, my brothers and my sisters. You know, shout out to Mama J. Uh, without you and my mother, man, I really don't know where I'd be. You see what I'm saying? I don't know if I'd be dead. I don't know if I'd have 30, 40 years in prison. Uh, so, with y'all, you know, I just want to say I love y'all. I love my brothers. I love my sisters. And, you know, uh, Everything that I'm doing now, uh, I dedicate that to y'all. You feel me? Thank you. We're gonna swing around here. Well, shout out to Doom Doom Dole. Um, definitely appreciate Mama J. Mama J, particularly for taking, uh, taking strangers and not being hesitant to accept people for who they are and don't mind taking the time to groom them into the man and the woman that they can be. Because um, truth of the matter is, 